California is making progress when it comes to transitioning from fossil fuels to clean energy. As our Abby Alford shows us in this Earth 8 report, energy experts say we are moving in the right direction, but they warn there are still challenges when it comes to reducing the state's carbon footprint. To better understand California's clean energy goals, let's first look at the deadlines. By 2030, the state needs to be 60% reliant on renewable energy, such as wind and solar. By 2045, the state needs to be 100% carbon free, which may be generated through nuclear and hydroelectricity. In the latest report from the California Energy Commission, it found 59% of the state's electricity came from renewable and zero carbon sources in 2020. And that should give us all hope that we can get in front of the climate crisis. Cisco DeVries is an energy expert who previously served under President Clinton and is now the CEO of OmConnect, a clean energy company in California that serves 28,000 customers in San Diego. He says despite the progress, the report does not credit consumer contributions. It does not count, for example, the 210,000 homes in the San Diego area that have solar on their roofs. The state is actually a lot higher up. SDG &E reports it uses 30% renewable energy and nonprofit community choice aggregators in places like San Diego, Chula Vista, La Mesa, Encinitas and Imperial Beach use about 50% clean electricity. But there is concern about a rise in rates. Uh, there's a a big focus on affordability right now. USD Director of Energy Policy and Initiative Center Scott Anders says while we are on target, it's going to require more than clean energy to meet the goals set by lawmakers. We're going to need some Thing like energy storage to help us with those evening peaks when the sun doesn't shine. Despite this progress, energy experts warn that there are looming dangers ahead. The state will eventually shut off its last nuclear power plant in a couple of years, and the severe drought is expected to impact large hydroelectricity producers. And as frustrated as we can get about how much more we need to do, I think this report is a moment actually to celebrate some of the big progress we've made. Energy experts say that consumers can do their part at no cost. They encourage you to avoid using energy during high use peak times, but they also encourage utility companies to incentivize or credit those consumers for their conservation efforts.